Has the Lord ever told you to do something, anything that he wanted you to do? And you knew if you didn't do it right then and there that you were going to procrastinate and that you were going to stall and maybe not even do it, find some excuse for not doing what the Lord asked you to do. Today is one of those days. It's like you know your house is on fire, but you want to go take a bath and be clean and fresh before you go outside because you don't know who's going to be outside. You don't want to be stinky. You don't want to be smelly. And in a time of panic, you want to look okay or you want to go in the kitchen and cook a meal so you will have some food to take with you when you go out of your house because your house is on fire. You may never get a chance to cook in it again. Well, today is one of those days for me. It's it's a day where I haven't prepped and I haven't prepared. And I was sitting in my chair listening to music and meditating and the Lord just said, make a video. So I started thinking about, oh, I need to find something to wear. I need to put makeup on. I need to make sure my hair is okay. Find a good looking scarf or do all of that. Um, but I decided uh, not to do all that today. I just went with whatever I had on. But I put what I put on this morning when I got up is what I have on. And so I have no idea what hallelujah Jesus, what the Lord wants me to say, how he wants to speak through me, whether he just wanted me to be obedient, to put my face on camera. I have no idea. But here I am. Hallelujah. Here I am being obedient to the Lord. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of times when God calls us to do things and asks us to do things, and we really don't know why. We know that we pray and we ask God for answers and solutions to certain things. And when the answer comes, it's not the answer we want. And it's not customized the way we prayed it, exactly the way we prayed it, what we ask God for when and how the answer doesn't come that way. We may pray and ask God for rain. Well, it might rain, but it might be a flood and wash up your house or wash up your uh, garden or your flower bed. You may ask God to, uh, Lord, help me to be a blessing to someone. And he may tell you to, hey, open your doors and let a stranger come and live with you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So when we pray, do we really want the answer to what we are praying for? And sometimes we say, uh, thy kingdom come and thy will be done. But when God says, here's the answer, and this is how I have instructed you to do it. So do we really want what God wants? Hallelujah. We know that it's God's intent for us to prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. And he doesn't desire for us to be eaten up and taken away by sin and evil. So his word says that obedience is sacrifice. So I don't know if these unscripted words will help anyone today, but here I am just speaking, just opening my mouth, just putting my face in front of this camera, being obedient to the Lord. I hope um, this will help someone on their journey as to how we feel and how we don't feel. It doesn't matter how we feel because we are the creatures that were created to give God glory in everything we say and everything we do. So this is just my testimony to God that I would rather be obedient than give up any sacrifice or whatever it may sacrifice or cause me that I do it, whatever he says, because it could cause someone else, even me, to miss out on the blessing that uh, the Lord has for me or someone else. So there you have it, an unscripted word. Amen.